Scene four of the bear. Now we know uh, Smirnov and Popova. They begin uh, some argument or conflict over uh, the money borrowed by her husband, Popova's husband. Smirnov demands money immediately, but Popova keeps rejecting, delaying, reasoning, mentioning that she has not enough money in her hand, and also she is uh, in a state of mind. And she leaves Smirnov. Uh, into her room. Now scene four begins uh, with Smirnov on stage. He's speaking loudly to be heard by Popova. Now this is that uh, long speech. This is that long speech done by Smirnov. His mood is uh, really angry, critical. His mood is really angry, critical, sarcastic, and self-sympathetic. Self-sympathetic. Okay. Let's read that part. Well, there, a state of mind, he repeats Popova's words, husband died seven months ago. Actually, this is a dramatic technique called parody. Mm. Parody. Mm. Parody. Uh, repeating uh, other speakers' words is a dramatic technique. Must I pay the interest or mustn't I? Now he questions. These are rhetoric questions. Another technique used in speeches. Rhetoric. R-H-E-T-U-R-I-C. Rhetoric questions. Why? No answers are expected. Now you can see you can feel, sense uh, Smirnov anger, disappointment in these words. I ask you, I speak to you, Popova, must I pay or must I not? Uh, but Popova is silent. She does not answer these questions. Mm. We know that Popova is also very unintactful woman, mm. unintactful woman. Now she lets Smirnov to express his anger, to make his anger go down, to make him calm down. That's why she disappears from this place. Suppose your husband is dead. Now think your husband is dead. And you got a state of mind. What is this state of mind? Actually, this is morning. Uh, morning mindset. Uh, and nonsense of the sort. Now, Smirnov criticizes. Popova's morning is a nonsense, useless, meaningless thing. A uh, nonsense. And your steward's gone away. Anywhere, your steward's gone away. I don't know somewhere where he is. They will take him. What do you want me to do? He questions. Popova, what do you want me to do? Uh, another rhetoric question. Do you think I can fly away? Hmm? Do you think that I can run away, fly away like a bird? From my creditors, my creditors, 
it means the bank, the bank people, they are following me. Uh, they want their money. I want my money from you. I cannot fly in a balloon, air balloon. Hmm? Those days, people used air balloons for flying. Uh, no aeroplanes, no jet planes or helicopters to fly. They used air balloons uh, in the 19th century, uh, 18th century, not 19th, right? 18th, 19th centuries. Or oh, what? Do you expect me to go and run my head, hit my head? Do you want me to hit my head into a wall, brick wall, stone wall? Brick wall means stone wall, hard wall. Now Smirnov says, I go to Gusdev. Gusdev is a creditor. I meet Gusdev, my, sorry, a debtor. Hmm. I met one debtor. He isn't at home. He's not at home. Therefore, I uh, did not have my money. Then another debtor, Yarasavich. Yarasavich has hidden himself. This Yarasavich, he hides when I go for my money. Huh? They are the debtors tactful methods not to pay. One uh, data is not at home. Another data is hiding. Smirnov knows these data are very cunning. I had violent row. Row means fight with Kurus, uh, Kuritsin. Kuritsin is another data. I had a fight with Kuritsin because he uh, did not pay me and nearly threw him out of the window. Uh, Mazugo, uh, another data, he has something the matter with his bowels. Mm. Mazugo did not pay, uh, complaining about a stomach ache, a stomach trouble, a matter with the bowels. Bowels means your stomach, your tummy, uh, uh, some some trouble with his stomach. And this woman, Popoas, what is Popoas' reason? A state of mind. Now Smirnov thinks his debtors are very cunning. They have their tactful methods to avoid paying him money. Popoas' tactful method is a state of mind, her morning. Not one of these swine, swine means pigs. Uh, he refers to his debtors as pigs, these pigs. They do not want to pay me. Just because I am too gentle with him, underline. This is how Smirnov uh, criticizes. His own character. His own character. What does he say? I am too gentle. Now Smirnov says, gentle, soft-hearted. I am a rag. I am useless fellow. Weak wax, melting person. Weak wax means in their hands. Now these debtors know that Smirnov is superficially a violent character, but inwardly he is a gentle man, melting man. That is my weakness. They know that. I am much too gentle with them. Well, just you wait. You keep looking. You will find out. Now it's he speaks to Popova. Popova, you refers to Popova. Popova, you will understand what I am like, my real nature. I shan't let you play about with me. 
I don't let you play games with me. Mm. Confound it. Damn it. Uh, he blames. He criticizes with these uh, words. Confound it. Da damn it. I shall jolly well stay here. I will really stay in your home until she pays. Brr. Now, like an animal, like a bear. Actually, this bear, the title, refers to Smirnov. Hmm. Chekhov uses this title, the bear, to imply Smirnov character, his uh, animal qualities, violent nature. How angry I am today, how angry I am, he repeats. He says, I am very angry, I am very angry. All my inside is quivering. Quivering means shaking with anger. All my inside. I am burning in my uh, body. Mm. I am really angry. I cannot even breathe because of this anger. I cannot even breathe. Foo, my word, I even feel sick. Right? He shouts. Yells. Yes, means shouts. Waiter. Ah, when he shouts, waiter, he calls a waiter, servant. Now, servant in Popova's house is uh, Luca. Now, Luca enters. What is it? What do we want? Now, Luca does not like Smirnov because uh, Smirnov is a violent uh, man, cruel man, mm. ill-mannered, ill-tempered man. Therefore, Luca hates this person. Get me some pass or water and some drink. Now he wants some drink. Then uh, Luca goes away. This is Smirnov. Uh, some type of uh, monologue, M-O-N-O-L-O-G-U-E, another dramatic technique, M-O-N-O-L-O-G-U-E, uh, monologue, not a dialogue, monologue. A character speaks alone without another character. Now, Smirnov thoughts. Feelings are expressed here. What a way to reason. <laughs> what a way to reason. A man is desperate. Uh, what a wonderful explanation. That is the idea. A man in desperate, badly in need of his money, and she won't pay. This woman does not pay because you see, you see, he speaks to the to the audience, you see a uh, dramatic technique uh, speaking with direct contact with audience. Mm. You see, she is not disposed to attend money matters. Mm. She is not uh, disposed, uh, engaged. Disposed means in attending money matters, business. Money matters means business. What a silly reason. That's real silly feminine logic underlying. Now Smirnov comments that Popova has some foolish, unreasonable, illogical, feminine woman reasons. What is the idea? All women have such logics. Huh? Such foolish reasons not to pay money. Underline. That's why I never did like and don't like even to have, even to have to talk to women. 
I'd rather sit on a barrel of gunpowder than talk to a woman. Underline. These words are very important. Why? Smirno of character, some character quality is uh, revealed here, exposed. What is this character quality? He hates women. Mm. He is a misogynist. M-I-S-O-G-Y-N-I-S-T. Misogynist. What is the idea of misogynist? He hates women. He hates women. Mm. He does not like women. Mm. He says, I'd rather sit on a barrel of gunpowder. Barrel of gunpowder means bomb. I will sit on a bomb than talking to a woman. You can see. Now, Smirnov hates women because they are silly. They have silly feminine logic. They have falsehood. That is the idea here. They are cheating, deceptive. Therefore, I do not like them. Brr. He growls like an animal. Brr. Again, that word. Brr. I feel quite chilly, cold here because of my anger. It's all on account of, because of that little bit of fluff. Now, little bit of fluff is a metaphor. Uh, fluff means uh, something, uh, some material which is very soft, a material like cotton. Now he refers to Popova. Popova is a small woman. He refers to Popova as fluff. This is a metaphor, some critical remark on Popova. He expresses his criticism uh, and anger by referring to Popoa's physical appearance. That little woman, she makes me angry. I can't even see. I cannot see these poetic creatures. Now, poetic creatures is another metaphor for women. Another metaphor for women. Smirnov says, women are poetic creatures. Why? Because they are highly admired in poetry, in literature. Uh, therefore, I do not like these women. They are not real. They are dishonest. Even from a distance, I cannot see a woman without breaking out into a cold sweat. I will sweat mm, when I see a woman out of sheer anger, great anger. Mm, I cannot look at them. Now you can see Smirnov, misogynistic feelings, comments, thoughts about women are well expressed in this little monologue. Now we know Smirnov hates women. He does not like women. Mm. That is why he is unmarried until his middle age. Uh, now Smirnov is in his middle age unmarried. Now Luca, he comes with water. Mm. Now Luca wants this man uh, to be out of this house because he feels that Smirnov is a dangerous person. Now Luca says, Madam is ill. Madam is not well and we'll see nobody. She does not want to see anyone. Get out. Go away. Now Luca exit. He goes away. Huh? Luca is afraid of this man. He's old person. He cannot fight with this uh, strong man. Ill and will see nobody. Another parody. 
Uh, he imitates Lucas' words. Parody. Ill and will see nobody. <laughs> no, it's all right. You don't see me. Hey, Popova, you don't want to see me. I am going to stay and will sit here till you give me the money. I will stay here until you give me the money. Now, Smirnov is determined to have his money. To sit here a long time. Now he does not need money uh, urgently. Now he wants money even with some delay. You can be ill for a week. You can be a sick woman for a week if you like. I will stay here for a week. During that week, I will stay to have my money. If you are ill for a year, I will stay for a year. I am going to get my own, my dear, hey, my dear woman, I will have my money somehow or other. You can't avoid paying me. Underline these words. He comments. Hey, madam, you don't get at me. You don't cheat me. Get at me. Avoid me. You can't cheat me with your dimple cheeks. Now, dimple cheeks. This is some uh, uh, reference to Popoa's beauty. You cannot uh, cheat me with your beautiful face. I know those dimples, dimples, holes in your cheek. I know those dimples. I know those beautiful women, right? You cannot cheat me, Popova. I know you. I know uh, women of your type, right? He shouts through the window. He speaks to his servant. Simeon, Simeon is a uh, of servant or driver, chauffeur. Uh, the one who uh, rides his horse. Take them out. Them refers to horse. Uh, remove the horse. We are going away at once. We are not going away today. I am staying here. I will stay here. Tell them in the stable. Tell the people of the stable. Stable is the place for horses to give my horses some odds. Hey, you fool. Simeon, don't be a fool. You have let the near horse leg tied up in the rain. You see, reins. Reins means the ropes used to control horses. Hey, you see, that horse's leg is caught, uh, tied up. Caught, tied up means caught in the reins. Remove him, remove him. Never mind. I'll give it to you. Never mind, huh? This is also a parody. He speaks Popoa's words. Mm. Popoa's words. Goes away from the window. Oh, it's, oh, it's bad. Very bad. The heat's frightful. The heat is, it is, it could be the summer season. Uh, this heat is frightful. Very dangerous. Painful. Nobody pays up. Now, he is heated uh, not by uh, the sun's heat, but by the debtor's money. I slept badly yesterday. On top of everything else, he has a bit of fluff. This little woman, bit of fluff means popova, with the state of mind. My head is aching. I have a headache. Shall I have some vodka? Now he needs some hot drink. Vodka. Vodka is a hot drink. Hey, bring me hot drink. Yells. Waiter. Then Luca comes. What is it? A glass of vodka. Hmm. A glass of vodka. Bring me vodka glass. Now Luca understands the situation is going to be worse. Luca, off, right, off. Now Smino sits in, sits and inspect himself. Now his uh, anger goes down for a little time, temporarily. He thinks of himself, 
I must say I look well. Oh, I must have a good look. Underline. This is his uh, uh, repenting feelings about his uh, present look. Hmm? Underline. Dust all over me. I am a dusty person. My boots are dusty, dirty, not washed, not polished, unwashed, unkempt, uh, not uh, tidy. Unkempt means not tidy. I do not have a gentleman's look. Mm. A straw on my waistcoat. On my waistcoat, there is uh, uh, much straw. Hey, the dear lady, that lady, he refers to Popova now as a lady. This is Smirnov other character. Actually, Smirnov, superficially, he is an, uh, violent, uh, he's a violent looking person. But inwardly, Smirnov has some gentleman's quality. This is his inner character. That lady may well have taken me for a brigand. Brigand means some notorious uh, person, bad person, mm. ill-mannered person. Now he is worried about his situation, his behavior before a young lady because he uh, is ill-mannered, disrespectful, yawns, he is very tired. It's rather impolite. Mm, it's rather impolite, not polite, not good, ill-mannered to come into a drawing room in this state. Now Smirnov feels he has done something wrong. Uh, something wrong in coming into a house uh, without a uh, proper dress, uh, clean dress. Uh, but it cannot be helped. I can't help it. I am not a visitor. Uh, I am here not as a visitor, but a creditor. I am a creditor, a lender, money lender. Now, I am not a visitor to this house, therefore this cloth, this dress is quite enough. And there is no dress specially prescribed for creditors. For the moneylenders, there is no special dress, no harm. Now, Luca comes with vodka. You allow yourself to go very far, sir. Sir, you are going too far in this matter. Please stop. Smirnov uh, angrily. What? I? Uh, nothing. Really? Mm. Now Luca cannot even speak. Whom are you talking to? Shut up. Who are you talking to? Shut up. Now Luca aside, aside, he turns his head and speaks. This is also dramatic technique. Aside, not in doubt. Uh, dramatic device. The devils, this devil is going to stay. Bad luck, bad luck. Oh, what a bad luck we have today. Smirnov, how angry I am, how angry. So angry that I think I could grind the whole world. I think I can destroy, crush, grind means crush, break into pieces. I can break into pieces. I can break this world into pieces because of my anger. I even feel sick. Waiter, he calls again. Waiter, he wants another drink, vodka. Okay, now this is the end of uh, scene four. Note it down. This is the end of scene four. There you see how Smirnov expresses his uh, comments his criticism, and even mm, his uh, attitude towards women, uh, how he hates women, mm, how he hates women. Now, Smirnov character is uh, well exposed here. Uh, 
He's superficially a violent, aggressive person, but inwardly he has some gentle qualities too. Therefore, this scene four is very important in understanding Smirnov character. In understanding Smirnov character.